But while they're in the church, while they're in the temple, Jesus, who's been brought there, begins to look a little bit different, perhaps, than some of the other children. Because the Bible records that he grows in wisdom. Let me start there. If there is a thing that I think is missing from this generation coming up, it's not intelligence, it's wisdom. And there is a difference, right? Because you can read a book, you can get a PhD, you can walk across the stage, you can move your tassel from right to left or left to right. That makes you intelligent, but it doesn't necessarily make you wise. The kind of wisdom that I'm hoping that you will impart on your son is this. Teach him how to love the Lord in such a way and the word of God so that when he goes into different spaces, he learns how to adjust. Have you ever been somewhere where people walk in and you're like, don't you know where you are? You know, like when you go to the courtroom, somebody's like banging their gum, chewing, and having some beef patty in the... Sorry, that maybe, maybe I digress. Not everybody understands how to conduct themselves in the appropriate way, but that comes with wisdom. Teach Nicholas how to play basketball on the court and be a good ball player, but then when he walks into the classroom, he also understands that the ball court me is not the classroom me. And the classroom me is not the church me. And it doesn't mean that we're going to teach him how to be a, a chameleon who changes because he wants to show himself as being somebody who he's not. But we want him to know that there's a time and a place for everything. 